I mean, we don't want Josh's head. You know what was weird when I seen the video when people were walking by? Hey, and it, nah, they, they like, you know, Josh is just, how about Mike's lap? Come on, Josh. Nope. Come on, Josh. Nope. You know what? You're fucked up, man. Come on, right. That was supposed to be, that, that, that was a. Fuck it. Fuck it. Wu Tang Ward! That's what I'm talking about. That's my man. My man. <laughs> You moved down the table. Like yellow. <laughs> no more shoes for you, right? <laughs> you know. You know what? Fuck I'll you. I'll let you. <laughs> Give him your shoes back. Me. Give him your fucking shoes back. <laughs> Dead me. Take that Wu Tang hoodie off. <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, like I said, it was super fast paced. It felt just like reading an act, and, you know, whatever Spider Man book. Because it was just like, it was just Spider Man, 100% Spider Man okay. book. She was like super, a lot of action. She always finds herself in a, you know, shitty spot. Um, Spidey comes and help for a little bit. Uh, she Hulk comes and help for a little bit. Okay, so um, during gang war too, right? So, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's yeah it connects to to the the ongoing gang war. Uh, I, I I liked it. I liked that it. it was it was entertaining to me. Uh, I wanted to read some more, but I didn't have enough time. So it's all good. I read two out of the three that I took home. Nice. So good. between the connoisseurs here, who's, who's gonna go first? I'll go. I'll go next. So I read. Cable number one, and I read Avengers Twilight. So Cable number one um, is uh, takes place during the fall of X, mm -hmm. and uh, it opens kind of like very with a with a little bit of a monologue. A Cable kind of uh, throwback to those old Wolverines when he would talk a little bit about he I'm was, the best he, at what he, I yeah, do. He's the best that there is, yeah, and what he does type of thing. So he kind so, of so doing something so like that. Before we go into is it uh is it do you have to read fall of x to know what's going on no that's the biggest you do not have to get you so start and, and that's the, yeah and that's kind of one of the little cons that i'll touch on a little bit but so he has to go and rescue his younger self nate so there's cable and then there's young cable and young cable is known as nathan or nathan nate summers mm -hmm. yeah and so he had left and then they brought him back orcas kidnapped him and was trying to uh use his uh probe his brain for you know because he's from the future mm -hmm. different timelines and technology cars. so he ends up saving him um and uh you know they end up kicking orcas's ass and uh and it was really good to see them interact together because i think this is one of the few times where they're really concentrating together uh with each other and the only bad thing not the bad thing but the they uh during this they introduce a new big bad from cable and that's it's, it's one of the cons of the book uh, you know, with all of this stuff going on, even Nate says in the book, hey, man, today's, you know, Orcus is like uh, killing mutants. That future that we're trying to avoid is this happening right now if we don't mm -hmm. do something. And old man Cable's like, nah, we have something bigger to worry about. And these big bads come out of nowhere that you you really never heard of them before. They're called the Neocracy. So it's a it's, it's a, a, a first appearance of this. Yeah, it's the first appearance of the Neocracy is a. Uh, there's a old school villain that makes an appearance there uh, as well at, at the end of the story. But uh, essentially it's a pharmaceutical company that was uh, testing and with some mutant and some DNA stuff. And then gotcha. that leads to something. I won't, I won't spoil that piece. Pfizer. Yeah. But, uh, and then I, I was thinking going into it. <laughs> <laughs> then I read Avengers Twilight, um, which from what I'm reading is, from what I can tell, is the 616 is a possible future of the 616 universe. Um, it opens up with Captain America being uh, woken up Steve Rogers, old mm -hmm. Steve Rogers. Uh, he's old because he doesn't have his super serum uh, with him anymore. Uh, they took it away from him. Uh, but they introduced a new event called M uh, H Day, uh, where it looks like they destroyed part of Boston. Mm -hmm. And Heroes that, Day. Yeah, Heroes Day. Yep. Yeah. And then it, uh, it uh, led to some changes. So Steve Rogers is no longer Captain America. There's another Captain America. Uh, they introduce you to James Stark, the son of uh, Janet Van Dyne and Tony Stark. Yep. Our boy Pete gets killed again yep. in the comic book. Van Dyne as, uh, as a wasp. The wasp, yeah. Nice. Yeah, and so, but it's it's a good story. I think it's a five issue limited series, uh, written by Chip Zdarsky and Daniel uh, and mm -hmm. drawn by Daniel Cunha. Uh, the writing so far has been really good. I don't want to get too deep in it. You guys need to pick it up if you can. For sure. Uh, and read it. But there are some parallels to what's going on now. You know, people <clears throat> disconnecting. Some talks about fascism. Mm -hmm. You get to see an old man, Luke Cage. You get to see uh, Matt Murdock. <clears throat> you get to see uh, a new iteration of Jarvis and, and, and some things. And then you get introduced to some new defenders. So it's a, it's a real good read. Acuna's art really lends itself to the to the scape that they're trying to paint there, like 3D-ish, very bright, good colors. But it's, uh, uh, it was a good read. It, it, and um, looking forward to the rest of the limited series. Okay. All right. Uh, this week I've read uh, G.I. Joe, I think it's, what, 303? 
and yes. uh, Cobra Commander number one. So I'll start with uh, uh, Cobra Commander. Cobra Commander. <clears throat> um, Cobra Commander was, in my opinions, uh, it, it was it was excellent. Um, I like the way that they went back and kind of retold his origin a little bit. So if you watch the animated cartoon, uh, the movie, uh, you know, Cobra Commander, he was a scientist, he was at Cobra Law, um, and, you know, they were developing things, whatever, he had an accident, and then that's how he became Cobra Commander. Um, but in this one, they touch on his origin, and it's slightly different. Um, he still had an accident uh, in his lab or whatever, um, but you get to see some of the Cobra Law uh, favorites, uh, Pythona, um, Galobulus, um, and you really still don't know what Cobra Commander's deal is, like what he's trying to accomplish. Um, I won't spoil the end of it, but there is a uh, guest appearance at the end um, that opens up a lot of doors for not only Cobra Commander, but um, all the rest of the books in Energon Universe. So Void Rivals, um, Duke, uh, Transformers, and now Cobra Commander. Okay. Um, artwork is on point again, um, but I really like Cobra Commander and I'm really looking forward to see what, what comes next out of that story. This whole Energon universe is like grabbing you. It, it, for you, it's, it's like you're bring, it's it's likes, bringing you the, no, no, it's yeah, bringing you to your childhood. Yeah. The yeah. nostalgia of the childhood right. watching the shows. And yeah. Now, now as an adult, likes. you get to delve into. Well, you get to see it a lot different, yeah. right? It's, it's a lot more grittier. Um, obviously, the G.I. Joe animated movie had people, you know, get killed or you know it, it, was, it was really uh, on the nose for some of the things but in this one um it's just good to see all this stuff back and being retold not uh stretched out too thin um and you know taking advantages but it's really cool that they're putting it together but we did take a vote the other day didn't we there, angel about serpentor and yeah we did we did he's on gi joe's but we were talking about serpentor being so you know right, <laughs> right so so the discussion is was serpentor better than than cobra commander Yes. My answer yeah. is, does Sepentor have his own comic book? <laughs> does, is there Sepentor number one? Are we talking about Sepentor number one? Right no, now? but he's on the no, cover of G.I. Joe, right? So you <laughs> all of them are going to be on the cover of G.I. Joe. one of those, they say the Hasbro's better than McFarlane. <laughs> no, nah, my name's not Nick. <laughs> what, was your, what was your other one? Your other one? Uh, the other one was uh, the uh, reemergence or, or the rerun of, not the rerun, um, but them continuing the run of uh, the IDEW. Yeah, the Larry Hama. Um, yeah. Larry Hama, um, G.I. Joe. A real American hero. Yeah. So this is... Uh, Serpentor on the cover, right? He's on one of the covers. <laughs> There's multiple covers. He's on the, main, he's on the main cover. Yeah. <laughs> Semantics. <laughs> Fatal to time. Um, so if you're not... If you haven't read uh, where it picked back up at 301... Um, some mutant bomb went off on on Cobra Island, and it has turned all of the uh, Cobra people that were there into like functioning zombies. Like nice. they still have full oh, control of all that. of their uh, mental capacity. Um, they have a hunger to eat, but like they're normal people that just eat other people. So, were you reading like the IW, IDW run? Nope. <laughs> so were you able to jump in on three hundred one, and all of a sudden start immediately jump in at three hundred one and pick it up because it's a whole new story. Okay. Um, but to speed it up, um, so now uh, all of the Cobra people that were on the island and didn't escape, they're all zombies, um, but they're functioning. Um, Cobra Commander is like back at where the main headquarters is at and he's like running like HR damage control. Like he's holding <laughs> a town hall meeting, he's talking to everybody and he's like, yes, yes, I I'll find out where your husband is. I know he's a televiper, like we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. Like. Look, look, guys, we got this all figured out. But anyway, in 303, it starts div uh, diving in more of what Serpentor's plan is and what he's going to try to accomplish. There's some mad AI um, out there that was working with the Joes, is now working with, was working with Cobra, is now like solely working with Serpentor. Um, they had some hyped up super AI, uh, you know, rebuilt uh, ninjas that went to go hunt. Um, the new snake eyes and scarlet um and i won't ruin it just read it but they, they handle business uh those are the two that i read so uh, cobra commander number one and uh gi joe uh, real american hero 303 so i'm gonna touch base because the only thing i got to read really that i liked was avengers twilight yeah. uh, and then that's a great book it was. It, uh, it was you read it too then right for somebody that don't deal with avengers like that yes. as far as yeah. comics i liked it and uh man first thing i thought was I started reading, going, this is like the Dark Knight. 
<laughs> this is like the Dark Knight. Yeah, yeah I, I didn't get that vibe, but but I can see why. And then then, why then with like. the Little Kingdom come. The Little Kingdom come with the little factions of what's kind of going on. Okay, you know, yeah. that, that's why I kind of yeah. felt. But I didn't even realize it until I started like, doing the reorders. And you did you notice the Frank Miller cover? Oh, Jesus. No, I didn't. So, so the Frank Miller. But, oh, it's an homage. It's the lightning bolt. Yeah, it's, it's and, lightning and, and he's got the arm coming yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, I was like, I was he like, has the shield. Yeah, what, what you saying that though? Like, if you watch uh, the Dark Knight uh, animated, yes, the two part that they released. Mm -hmm. So after he meets Jim and they walk, he drinks and, they, and he starts walking. And like you said, he sees the guys. Yeah, and he's like, Yeah, I'm, it's time for me to stand. No, up. like John Wick, are you back? And he's like, <laughs> Yeah, I'm thinking I'm back. And then he gets proceeds to get his ass beat. <laughs> As he should. Yeah, but, right? but overall, well, he was I, I thought man. it was a really good book, and I, I'm and like I said, I'm looking forward to the next issue. So yeah, you know. looked, I like it. I like the premise. You know, he's he's married. Uh, Steve is married, uh, and and uh, Luke Cage had a really good line. Uh, he had like two lines there, but the first time he was like, "Hey, you know, I'm just the old mayor of New York, yes. right? Yeah. I'm, a, I'm an old mayor." You're a symbol. Yeah, right? you're like, a symbol. You're, you're a symbol. You're, you're Captain. captain yeah, you know, he's like, you're Captain F in America. Yeah. <laughs> like, and so, yeah. so it, so he, uh, it's kind of, it, it is his story because it's kind of his comeback toward that. And um, so, it, it's, it's a really good read. I, I, I highly recommend it. Yeah, I didn't expect it to be. I'm, I'm, I'm really wanting to see how James Stark comes out at the end of this if, Bro, if he's he like a little yeah, yeah he's, he's like a little dickhead <laughs> but you know like, he, he comes <laughs> off kind of like starts, but yeah, he's, no, 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 but he's coming like, i was going to say that he's coming off like yeah probably that pre uh demon in the bottle type thing if you're looking if your only reference to tony stark is in the movies then it's the tony stark yes that was before he uh he got blown up and got right, right, yeah. right right yeah, right so, right right they really didn't care about anything. It was only about it for partying, yeah. money, uh, yeah. uh, and the clout. So I, I like to see how he comes out on, on the other side of this because uh, it made it seem, you know, by what Rogers was saying, uh, Steve Rogers was saying, uh, that he's kind of being handled, right? Like he's being kept away. And, and, yeah, they're trying and, to manage him, yeah, you know, to try to keep yeah, that, yeah. that 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 Captain America and, spirit and symbolism. And that you know, that's why that's why yeah. I kind of felt the. The Dark Knight yeah. Returns aspect, where you know he calls Superman, and he says, "He goes, hey, I need you to keep your boy in check." Yeah, 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 yeah. all those little things, because like you said, the uh, the internet's being monitored, everything's yeah, being monitored, everything's and everything's yeah. basically is being run by corporate America, and you yeah, know, and, yeah. and what you can see is, is all that. So, so the two things for me is one. So how did he lose the super serum? Uh, so super they took serum? it away. They took it away. They took it from him. Yeah. So he he said they took it away. So after so I, so I, after I would, I would imagine, day, they yeah, probably. I would imagine right. at some point. Okay. After H day, uh, they took it away from him and, yeah. and, and did that. All right, there's that. Well, it's actually three. Yeah, um, Peter did get handled again. Yeah, he always get. He's always. But but, but, but the funny thing was, um, the the crisis that caused part of H day was secret identities were being leaked. Yeah. Yes. Yep. And yep. not only their secret identities, but secret yeah. identities of oh, the identities of their families, obviously. Yeah. And then. Um, I, it's not ruining it, I guess. But like at the end, where he's like standing there and he's got the Rob Liefeld chest, and he's like, "Yeah, I'm back. <laughs> I'm back." Yeah. So, so, and they were able to replicate it, and yeah, I, I think they finalized something to it because everybody, you know, for years now, it's like he's only been the one. He's been the only because one. he's the only one. Yeah. And and he sent it because it. I'm the only one. Yeah. And he's right? like, "How did you do it?" Because I was the only one that worked yeah, on it. So yeah. you know what I mean. You know. So yeah, he was that it would only yeah it would only work because they said we tried it with other people and they were like yeah they, they died they, they right. died right yeah, yeah because I'm the only one so it, it's 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 good I'm I'm I'm, I'm I like what Sadarsky has done I yeah. I like some of his, I like his writing. And I'm I'm looking forward to to seeing uh, what comes out at the end. I did get some callbacks. I'm sorry. I did get callbacks from like uh, um, Endgame when uh, Rogers goes back and he's supposed to return the stones. Yeah, and yeah. like he's a little small guy. <laughs> yeah. Like I got that immediate callback, yeah. even though he wasn't you know tiny like he was when he yeah. before he got yeah. to serve. But like seeing him, I was just like, oh man, like that was yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. <clears throat> so as far as uh, our dragon heads, uh, Mike, you can start with your dragon heads here on your books. Uh, your first. One's I will Flash. give. I will give Flash. Flash is four. I give it four. A strong four. I liked it. I I, I love where the story is going to. Um, 
hopefully I can see more um, of Dr. Elemental, you know, talking about all the uh, meta, meta humans. And uh, let's see what the story goes. Hopefully it gets better, not worse. And then Jackpot gets, uh, I, Jackpot just felt like a regular Spider-Man book. Like that was nothing impressive for me. So I'll, I'll say like a good three. It was entertaining. It, it wasn't a bad book. It wasn't a bad read. It was just more of the same. Peter Parker getting beat up and out of luck. So, all right, we got you down there, Angel. So for Avengers Twilight, I'm gonna give a four and a half. Um, I like the the premise of it. A lot of good callbacks. The art was good. The writing was on point, and it the pace it was paced very well. Like you weren't you were left wanting more, but you didn't have a, a, too many questions outside of the big plot points, which will probably come out. So it's four and a half uh, there, and for Cable number one. I'm going to give it a, a, a solid three. It's an entertaining book. You're going to get to see uh, Young Cable and Old Cable meet together. Uh, the reason I give it a three and uh, I'll continue to read it uh, is I kind of want to see where this comes out of. But it, it's it's running one of those Cable tropes or one of those X-Men titles. Cable is slowly becoming one of those X-Men titles or characters that never has hardly anything ever to do with the main yeah, stuff. The like main his story. previous... His previous uh, miniseries was him and Bishop going after the Children of the Vault. The, the biggest thing for me, or the biggest detractor of the book is it's not really doing it too much with what's currently going on yeah. with the fall of, fall of X. And it has a lot, based on Children of the Vault, it has potential to kind of fall flat and you are not going to see these guys. At least with the Children of the Vault, you get you see them sporadically. Uh, but with these guys, it doesn't look like that many. I did love the West Potassium cover. Yeah, That's yeah. pretty badass. Yep. All right. Uh, Cold Commander number one. Yeah, like 4.8. Nice. I, was, I was still want to give it a five. Wow. Yeah. Nice. He, he's always been a compelling character for me because he's always failed. But, like, he's always still in the position to, like, almost get there. Okay. Right? So the way that they painted this picture... Yeah, Galobulus was like ready to like banish this dude and send him off and you know to, to Narnia or whatever, but he proved this point again, like you need me. Like watch what I'm about to do. Look what I've been doing. I've been loyal. Don't question my loyalty. See what I'm gonna do. Alright, so um I'm interested to see how this all So he can get out. so far he just can't he's never been in a place. Yeah. Over. Kinda sound like Mike McCarthy over Cowboys. A little bit, a little bit. <laughs> we about that. But it's the also the the the, the special appearance or the, the, the appearance at the end of the book. Yeah. Really opens up a lot of like it's like, oh man, like this is okay. I don't wanna ruin right. it. But cool. I wanna see that. And the then G. Teacher, yeah. yeah. And then G. I. Joe, um yeah, like a three and a half, just because uh I'm just interested to see where this goes. I didn't read any of the IDW. I read Marvel, um, skipped IDW, and now that I'm back and it's a new story, I just want to see how this kind of ends because it's, it's interesting enough. Plus, I'm a fanboy of, of GI Joe. So. I think that, you know they they tied Larry Hama to it. I, yeah. I, I, and great, nice guy. I just sometimes it's time for guys to yeah. yeah. To, to well, I like the art too. The, the art, yeah, fast torch should move along because yeah. you know. And art hasn't um, failed me yet. I'm a big art guy. I like clean lines or whatever. I don't like. I don't mind if it gets a little gritty, but um, yeah, go ahead. Really? No. I like. I like the art of both my books. Yeah, they both. They yeah, fit. I, I they say fit gritty, nice. like oh, Daniel Warren Johnson and Transformers. Yeah, it's, you it's, guys gave me crap for that. It's a little. It's a little <laughs> gritty, but I, I do. I do really like more clean artwork. But I like how GI Joe's being drawn. Like I like it. It, it fits for it. Yeah, it does. Yeah, cool. All right, for me. Uh, since I did the um, did the Avengers Twilight, just like you, four and a half. Very interesting. It, it, it was good. Still didn't top the Ultimate Spider-Man for yep, me last yep. week, but it was really good. So um, definitely looking forward to what happens with that story for sure. And you know, it could it could be a twelve issue. I'd be great for it. It's a mini series or what is it? Yeah, it's a mini series. Yeah. So now Mike's like, damn, you're talking about. I need I'm to read it. it. You gotta check it out. And since this is the second week and we did Ultimate Spider-Man last week, and we're still talking about it. Second print is coming out. That's so right. Make sure you come to and the a third layer. print. There's a third print. They, they announced the third print. <laughs> yes, well, a third we know that the second print for sure <laughs> is coming here. So make sure you get it. Hit the hub up. Pull it. We got a copies. We got a couple copies of Avengers uh, Twilight. Oh, yeah. But all we got is right now is the foils. But I got more of the rings coming in. So uh, uh, thank you guys for joining us, man. And uh, no hey, before I leave, man, I know you you just started eBay. You got an eBay store. I Talk do. About I that, do. Man. I see this Lapidus comics. I'm so. so. I'm using the hobby to pay for my hobby, right? So uh, 
check it out. So right now, currently, we have some uh, CBCS and some CGC yeah. books on there. Uh, and a couple of... Uh, find you on Facebook, too, yeah, right? find me on Facebook and see this Lupita's Comics and on Instagram. See this Lupita's yeah, Comics. check him and out. Check got yours, too, right? Yeah, we got ours. We got the dragons there. It's, uh, we're, we're, we're still in the making. He, he finally taught me into going back. And I used to have a one long time ago, but he said, hey, man, and then you said, keep on going online. And, yeah, man. And so we're getting it all Do done. It. I just got to put the... The uh, nephew to work. He's besides what he's doing the videos, but uh, we got it going out under Dragon's Lair uh, and on. We got a sister company on the Facebook. Uh, we got it, uh, B Man's Bat Cave. I didn't want to tie up all the Dragon's Lair stuff as far as the selling stuff because it yeah. always moves when you're putting stuff live all the time. So uh, you can follow, uh, get on the Dragon's Lair page and then follow the B Man's Bat Cave page, and you can see what we have sell going on sell here. We're concentrating on, not just on the stuff we sell in the store, but stuff. Um, that I want to sell online. I've always wanted to get into different things like uh, music stuff and all that stuff like that. But being the nice guy I am, Mike says, you know, I shouldn't be. I don't want to step on people's toes in town that I know. <laughs> you well, you got mail to pay, okay. <laughs> so, anyways, so check us out. And again, thank you guys for joining us. You out there too. If you like the videos, definitely subscribe. We're starting to get more viewers again. So uh, thank you for watching us. You and know why? Because we're we doing videos. Hit <laughs> that like button. Make That's sure right. you subscribe. That's right. And we, we got a great crowd, man. We got the new comic crew here. So thank you guys for watching. Take care. It's all about the comic community. Thank you, man.